it's toy tube here and today i have this fabulous pets um draculaura and claudine um two pack and this is like really new it just came out so yeah i'm excited so i just got at target today for um fifty dollars um i don't know um i feel like it's a little overpriced just because that the um just because that the um exclusive, I think it's exclusive, Kohl's three pack for Monster High, um was f um fifty dollars and it came with three dolls. But then again, didn't come as with as many accessories. But I don't really know. Yeah, I don't know. I actually don't think it's overpriced. I just think it's a little weird that it was this price because that the Kohl's three pack was that much money. But I don't know, anyway. So, they're the, here they are. I really like them. So, it says Monster High right here. It says Dracula and Claudine Wolf. It says Count Fabulous and Crescent. It says the Fabulous Pets, Fabulous Pets logo. And, yeah, that's pretty cute. And, let's go to the back of the box where their artwork is. Wow. That's really cute. Um... So, I really like their, um, their art. It says Mall Cafe. That's a very generic name for a cafe in the mall. But, yeah, that's really cute. I also really like their outfits. Yeah, so, it says Dracula and Claudia and Woof are ready to crawl the mall. <laughs> for, for matching looks for themselves and their pets, Count Fabulous and Crescent with fabulous outfits and yummy treats to share. This boo crew is having a totally fantastic day. That's cute and it says it in a bunch of different languages. So yeah, um, yep, um, I guess let's just open them. Okay, so I've opened them and I really like them. So here's Claudine. I really like this Claudine. This might even be my favorite Claudine and all of G3 so far. I don't know. I really like her. So she has brown hair. It's like very shiny. I don't know why. But um, yeah. Two types of brown again, like that really dark brown, then that pretty light brown. But yeah. So and then she also has some purple streaks in her hair. I kind of like the purple streaks. I like that this time I think. I think it's a different color than yeah, I think it is a different color than, the, than her original purple streaks from the core G3 doll. But anyway, let's just get into... Yeah, so... Sorry. She has, like, a side ponytail that is very curly. And she also has earrings. Her earrings are purple. This side has two little crescent moons. And on this side it is, like, one crescent moon and then a chain that goes down to the bottom of her ear. That's pretty cute. So it's supposed to look like two earrings. And then her makeup, I really like her makeup. So, um, she has like a little scar on her eye, it looks like. She also has blue and purple makeup with pink lips. And I don't think she's focusing. Why won't she focus? Yeah, sorry. Okay, let's try to put her a little bit farther away. Yep, I think you can see her makeup now. Hopefully you can. Yeah, so, um, yeah, she also has, like, the same little, um, tiny hairs, baby hairs on her, that was painted on her face. But, um, anyway, I really like her outfit. She has, like, these shorts that are a cheetah print, with, that are purple with like a yellowish um, green crescent moons on it. And also like some little fabric blue um, things in the middle. And then she also has a matching crop top shirt that has long sleeves with the same pattern. And she also has like this little vest, I don't know, vest thingy. And it is like a, kind of like a, yeah, it's like a blue and, um, yeah, I'd say it's kind of like a 
coral blue, I don't know. And then it's like really fuzzy. And then she also has a little gold necklace, a little gold and has a crescent moon. And then she has another one that which is a choker with spikes. So I really like her shoes. They have used this mold. I'm most, I'm really sure they have used this mold before in G3, but I still like it. Uh, I think it's kind of weird that you can literally see her feet. Uh, it's like a purple gummy mold, but you can like see her feet. But um, yeah, it's kind of like heel boot heels with little spikes and little crescent moons on the back, which I thought was really cute. This is a really cute outfit and I really like her. So here's Draculaura. So her hair is just long with black hair with pink streaks. I think her pink streaks might be lighter than all the other ones. I don't know, I feel like they're a little bit lighter. I don't know why. And then her bangs has a lot of product in them. <laughs> I don't know, just a lot. And then she doesn't have any earrings, but she, but you can put earrings in her ears. So I don't know, but um, she also has a little headband that is pink with a little bow. I'm surprised that it doesn't look like a bat because I swear every time the Draculaura has any single bow on her, it is also has fangs and bat wings. So she also has um, her heart beauty mark thing. Um, there's actually two of them on this doll, one on each side. So it, and it's pink. And then her makeup is pink and like a really dark gray with pink eyes and like a really pretty color lip, like a really dark purplish pink. Sorry, I think my hand. I'll just try to. Ooh, wait, what? Oh no. That was a problem. Like I can like almost see the spray that they put in her hair under when I um, lifted up her bangs. That was weird. But um, anyway, she also has this cute little like sweater shirt and it is pink and purple with little hearts. And on the front, it has a little pink heart with um, bat wings that is looks like it's dripping with fangs. And what I think is really cute about this shirt is that when she puts her arms up, there's little bat wings underneath. I, th I thought that was just like so adorable. Like, She's flying. I don't know, but like, I thought that was really cute. And yeah. And then she also has this pink skirt that is made of a pretty rough material, but I do really like it. And it also has like this little, um, um, like, I don't know, like a little layer. I don't know what to call this, but it's really cute. And then she also has these pink, pink sneakers and they have molded on socks not my favorite i feel like they could have added like put her in heels for this and i think i'd like her a little bit better but um, i don't know but i think these might be the same shoes that they use for ghoul spirit draculaura so i think this also might be the same um um a duplicate so we have already they've already used this mold before i think i'm most definitely sure i really think they do. so it also comes with both of their pets it comes with the crescent and crescent is so cute i think this that crescent might be a little bit darker than the core crescent but also crescent is definitely in a different pose and crescent also has this cute little sweater that is the same material as her little vest I thought that was so cute, so it's like they're matching. That's so cute. And then Count Fabulous over here. Um, I don't know if it's a different mold. I think it might be the same mold, sorry. But yeah, and she also, I don't, wait, never mind. I don't know if it's a he or a she, because I know in G1 it was a he, but I don't know what it is in G3. I don't know, but also, Count Fabulous has the same material, little like, um, I don't know what Count Fabulous, I don't know what this is, but it's like something that Count Fabulous is wearing that is the same material as Dracula's skirt, 
which I think that, I thought that was really cute. Okay, so the pets have their own little table in this set. It's a black table with little spider webs on it, and the bottom is really pretty. Wow, they have their own table. And they even have their own chairs, so it looks like they're at a cafe. Little blue chairs, and it looks like it has like spider webs on it. So they can sit down. Also, it comes with two, one for Count Fabulous and one for Crescent, so they can sit down at the table. That is really cute. I love that, that they can do that. But then it also comes with this little um, coffee cup. I think this is coffee or hot chocolate. And it it's on a little plate. You can't take it off. And it even has little hot chocolate or coffee. And also, like, the um, handle for it is a little bat wing. That's adorable. And then there's also a purple version of it. So I'm guessing the purple one is for Crescent because they just associate Crescent with purple. I don't know why. That we They don't know their favorite colors. <laughs> anyway, um, it also comes with this, like, it looks like toxic waste. I don't know. It looks like poison, too. It's like a really dark purple with a little skull that is green. And also it has a little cat black cap that you can take off so looks like they're drinking it but also they can hold it i don't know that is a little weird <laughs> but it also has draculaura's i don't yeah her cherry juice i don't know why she i i will say that i think that she might come with cherry juice in every single doll from g3 like so many like literally so many anyway um they also come with little shopping bags like, they're kind of like a gummy material. I actually really like these. This one is black with a little skullette, but I think it's for Draculaura because I don't know why, but, like, instead of the bow, it's little bat wings. She always has to have the bow bat wings. You see what I mean? And then, um, Claudine's is this little purple one with a werewolf and a moon howling at the moon and a little claw. That's really cute. And... Claudine also comes with this backpack that looks a lot like Crescent. I really like this. It even has a little zipper, but not real, of course, because, yeah, that's... <laughs> and then also there's this little purse that Draculaura has that looks so much like Count Fabulous. Well, it's almost suspicious that they can buy these. You know, I feel like that they definitely got these handmade for them so um anyway that's all for today i hope you guys like this video and i as you guys know i post like a lot so um usually i hope that i don't get out of that habit anyway um yeah bye